Well, as we're going into winter, it's a time of year when people are gathering things in. And if you have kids, they're probably no different. Well, if you have a lot of oaks around, the kids may be bringing home a lot of acorns. And I want to show you a fun project that you can do with your kids that can help to teach them about where oak trees come from. What I have today are some sawtooth oak acorns that I collected here at the Arboretum. And I just want to show you how to get those ready and go through a process known as stratification so that they'll go ahead and sprout and you can plant them. Now first of all, if they have their caps on, you want to remove those and sometimes you may need to use a knife or something to get those off. Now these are pretty easy to remove so I didn't have to do that. Next you'll want to look at all of the nuts and take out any that have obvious damage to them like this one and I have one that has a hole in it so I'll take that one out and we've got a few more that have cracks and another thing that you can do to these to make sure that you've got nuts that are going to go ahead and sprout is to just drop these in a bucket of water. Now the ones that end up floating you want to remove those acorns because those probably aren't going to sprout. And the remaining acorns at the bottom, you can take those out because those are viable or living seeds and just check over them once again for any holes or any defects. I've got one here that dropped to the bottom but it does have a defect so I'm going to weed that one out too. Well as you've noticed I had several that I started out with and now I've only got three. So if you're going to do this project you'll want to gather quite a few acorns because you'll weed them down before you you um, stratify them. Well now we're going to stratify these which is actually a cooling process that is essential for acorns and many other nuts to go through in order to sprout. And all you do for this is to take some peat moss that's been pre-moistened. I've just used and worked some water through here until it had enough water not to drip but to stick together. And I'm going to fill a baggie with this peat moss. Next, I'm just going to place the acorns in that peat moss and just in the center of that in there so that they'll stay moist and then tie that up. Now you can use a Ziploc baggie, that would work really well. But make sure it's sealed up quite well. Next, you'll place these in the refrigerator. You could even put them down in the crisper tray or something like that for two months. Well, as you'll recall, our former host, Sue Gray, this spring, she did this to some pecans. And you can remember that you can take these out and check and actually see when they start to sprout. Now, after two months, you can check these and you'll see the roots coming out the bottom and that's the time to pot them up. It's also a good time for the kids to inspect those roots and just see how they come out of the seeds. Well, one thing that you do want to remember when you pot them up is you want to use a deep container because most nuts have a tap root and so it's a root, one single root that grows straight down so they need a lot of room for that root to grow down into the pot and you don't have to plant them very deep only about an inch deep water them in and then set them in a sunny place now this spring you can go ahead and plant those outside but there's one thing that you want to remember when you're planting oak trees well, if you can recall, most of the oak trees, the mature ones that you've seen, are probably very large trees. They can be 50 to even 60 feet tall, and they can be several feet around. So just remember to plant them at, a, at least 50 feet away from the house. And the kids, as part of this project, can mark their tree and then put a fence around it to keep it from getting mowed and watch how it grows over the years. And you'll have something for everyone to enjoy. Well, that's all the time we have today on Oklahoma Gardening, but come back and join us again next week. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.